Hey friends, what's happening? Coppell Valley Ranch, Las Colinas, greater Irving real estate market. We're going to touch on that. Have we, has the tide turned? Has the page turned on the real estate market? I'm going to touch on that. First, I'm David Russell with the Russell team. Thank you for watching this brief video in our video series about buying, selling, and owning real estate in Coppell Valley Ranch, Las Colinas, greater Irving marketplace. Yes, the tide is turning, my friends. It is not hard turned yet, but it is getting there. We are still in a very strong seller's market. It's just relative, the term strong. We're not seeing 50, 70, 100 offers on houses anymore. We're seeing three, five, 20. Depends on price point, depends on the school districts and the ratings. It depends on the condition of the home. There's a, we're starting to see the fragmentation now going back to what it used to be with buyers being very discerning, very selective on what they're willing to pay above list price for and what they're willing to pay top dollar for. Case in point, I was looking this week at South Lake and there are quite a few homes that have been on the market above 60 days with significant price drops as much as $100,000. Now, Six months ago, those homes would have likely sold with multiple offers. Buyers are becoming much more wary, more conservative. They're not willing to just buy anything at any price. Those days are pretty much over unless you have an outlier in some manner. If you have a question about your house being an outlier, call me and we'll talk about it. Generally speaking, the market is turning. And we are still in a strong seller's market, but it is turning slowly. The, the bottom line here is if you're going to list and sell your house in the near future, you want to have it as dialed in as possible, maintenance free. You want all the deferred maintenance to be addressed. You want the cosmetics to be addressed. Buyers are looking for and willing to pay significantly for turnkey ready to move in houses. If it, the more the house needs, the harder it is becoming to sell. Marketing is going to become critically important as we move into this fall season this and then the winter and first quarter of next year. So bottom line, yes, the market is turning. The tide is turning. We are shifting a little bit. Still strong seller's market, just not as strong as it was. If I can help you with any questions about your home, buying, selling, owning, etc., please call, text, or email me. I'm here to help. Now, some interesting articles I picked up this week. One is we're starting to see a trend in the real estate market where developers are building neighborhoods for rental, pure rental neighborhoods, single family homes, hundreds of them, entire subdivisions are rentals only. Very interesting. That's going to have a profound impact on that overall community. Not sure it's a good thing. I mean, it's a great thing for people to have housing. Not sure it's a good thing for the values of the homeowners who are around that and share that school district. That's an interesting uh, topic. That said, there are a lot of other interesting things going on in the marketplace. There's a lot of money coming into Dallas, Fort Worth with commercial real estate still expanding. There are some, there's been a slowing of that, but there are a lot of corporations still relocating to Dallas, Texas. So we are still in an amazing seller's market. If there's anything I can do to help you, please call, text, or email me. Oh, by the way, check out your reports down below. You'll see what's happening in your neighborhood. Have a great day. Call me if I can help you.